Let's discuss the logo UI. The logo UI is significantly different than what it used to be. It used to simply be a logo of your choice in the upper left-hand corner. You could change the transparency. You can add a hyperlink to it. And you can change the size. And that's that was roughly about all you could do with the logo for your virtual tour. But as you notice here, this is quite a bit different than what the logo used to be. If you notice, I have title, subtitle, I have borders, I have background, and yes, the colors are crazy. But the reason for that is it makes it really easy for me to demonstrate all that you can do with the logo UI. So in order to add a logo to your virtual tour, you simply come up to the Add tab here and select Logo. And that's going to bring up the uh, Preferences bar over here on the right-hand side, where you have Logo UI, Titles, and Colors. So let's start with Logo UI. And the first thing up right here is how you add your logo. So you click on the pencil and you choose one either that you have already saved or you can upload a new logo at this time. And I'm just gonna stick with the one I already have selected. And next down is the hyperlink. So you can hyperlink just the logo and you can put whatever link it is that you need in there that corresponds with your logo itself. I personally have teleportme.com in here for this demonstration. Next is the positioning of your logo. So you have image width, which pretty much makes pretty simple sense. You can change up the width of the of your logo and the height of your logo. Just like that. And you can completely customize exactly how big and small that you want your logo to be. Transparency is how you change up if it's how visible it is on your tour. Margin, very much like the thumbnail UI, if you grab the slider here, it's going to move it towards the center of the screen. If you don't want that, then what you can simply do is click on the preferences icon here and you can completely customize where you move it to. Like for instance, I wanna move this just a little bit in from the top and from the left. There we go. Click on the check mark, save it. Image margin. Image margin simply changes the margin of the image, not of the title bars. And again, you can come in here and you can completely customize this out to move it to wherever you like. Image padding. Now, padding is kind of the, the, the well, I can just show you. Image padding. So this area right here is the padding of the image. And it starts from the image to the border. Now, the reason for this is it allows for you to, again, just completely customize out how your virtual tour logo looks. So if you want kind of a padding with one color and a border with another color, like if your client has specific colors for branding, you can really kind of customize this out to match the branding of your, your current client. Image border width, again, the border, the orange area here. And you can, of course, customize this out to be bigger on the top, smaller on the bottom. So like, for instance, let's go ahead and do this, just for fun. As you can see, I have more of a border over here on the left and on the bottom than I do on the top and the right. So again, complete freedom for customization here and image border radius. Now, with image border radius, if you notice with right here, and I'm gonna make my border a little bit bigger just to make it easier to see. If you notice, I'm radius right here in the top right and top left, but not on the bottom left or right. And that's because I went into customize. Now, if I were to sit here and use just this slider here, it is going to make a radius all the way around. Now, I don't really want that because it doesn't look very pleasing because you have your, ti your title and your subtitles are squared off and you have this rounding right here, this radius. So we don't really want that. So what you do is you click on the preference icon and let's say the top, let's just add a radius there. 
and top right. Here we go. Now, if you notice, I have a radius only on the top, not on the bottom, and it flows a little bit better. Everything's squared off and lined up properly. Okay, so that pretty much covers the user interface of the logo. Now, here comes the next step, which is titles. Now titles are really cool because it's almost like you can have a menu right on the left hand side underneath your logo. And if you look right here, I have this one right here, tour created by Matt. That's me. And you can put whatever you want in there for the title. Just click the save button and then you can click on the hyperlink and you can choose where you want this title right here to go if you want it to go anywhere and you click on save there you go so now this is linked right here this title is by itself is linked to google.com this one up here is linked to teleportme.com and in my subtitle right here if you click on add you can add a subtitle this one is actually linked to teleportme.com as well and again you can make that whatever you like and you can also add even more. And we'll call it Logo UI Demo, as you can see there. And of course, you can put in a hyperlink. And now this one is also hyperlinked as well. So now you have these in there and you don't quite like what, how the sizes of them are. Font's wrong. You want to change up the font. You want to change up the size of the font. You want to change up just all the, the, the fonts and everything with the subtitles here and titles. So right here you have title setting. In other title setting, you can change up the size of the font. You can change up the, the padding of the title area. So it's set to default right now. But if I want to make it bigger, I can simply click on that. And I think that was actually the default for that one. So let's go bigger. There we go. Um, and you can actually change this piece up of your title. the Kind of the background, in a sense, of your title. I call it the title bar. Um, so you can, again, customize that to whatever fits your needs for your virtual tour. I'm going to put this back down to default which will actually adjust with the, the font size that you choose. I'm gonna put this back to 16. And you can change up the orientation of your text. So if you want the title to be centered and then everything below to be to the left, you can simply do that. Or if you want everything centered, you can do that. And you can also put the orientation to the right. You can italicize, you can bolden, and you can underline. And same thing with your subtitles. Now, under the subtitle, I would say, going a little bit bigger maybe. There we go. We can make that area for the subtitle just a little bit bigger. I think the text size is just fine. Maybe make it bold. And let's try out a new, there we go. Arvo. Arvo sounds fun. I like that. And there we go. And that's pretty much all you do have to do with the logo UI with do adding titles and subtitles. Now let's move on to another one that's pretty fun. And that's colors. Under colors you have background color, which I have as a lime green like always. But you can come in here and you can simply change that around to whatever you like for your virtual tour. I'm going to keep it at the green color, border color. As you can see here, we can completely change whatever we want to make the border. Title color, again, that's going to change just the title. Title background color. There we go. 
Let's make that yellow. That's that ugly yellow. I'm going to go with the standard yellow. There we go. That way it matches over here. And subtitle color. We'll go with the ugly yellow with that. There we go. And there you go. That's how you change up the colors. And that, that's pretty much covers everything that there is to do with the logo UI. And you can really make a logo UI look really, really nice in your virtual tour. And it adds some added features that pretty much nobody has. So, on to the next video.